Did you know the tradition of Halloween finds its roots in ancient Ireland? Over 2,000 years ago, the Celts celebrated Samhain, a festival marking the end of the harvest season and the beginning of the darker half of the year. They believed that on this night, the boundaries between the living and the dead blurred, allowing spirits to cross over. Now imagine yourself standing before the crumbling stone walls of Leap Castle in County Offaly. It's a place where the past lingers in every shadow. The castle, dating back to the 13th century, is reputed to be one of the most haunted in the world. A hidden oubliette discovered during a renovation contained countless human skeletons, believed to be prisoners who met their end in this gruesome pit. The castle's most famous spectral resident, the Red Lady, is said to wander its halls, clutching a dagger and mourning the loss of her child. Yet it's not just castles that hold Ireland's ghostly tales. The countryside itself seems to whisper with stories of the supernatural. The tale of the Banshee, a spectral woman who wails in the night, is one such legend. It's said her cries foretell a death in the family. Generations have grown up fearing the chilling sound of the Banshee's wail, piercing the quiet of a moonlit night. And then there's Loftus Hall in County Wexford, a place where a chilling tale of the devil himself is told. Legend has it that a mysterious stranger once sought shelter during a storm. He played cards with the family, but when a young woman dropped a card and bent down to pick it up, she saw that the stranger had cloven hooves. The devil, realizing he'd been discovered, transformed into a ball of fire and shot through the roof, leaving behind a haunted house and a cursed family. So, what have we journeyed through today? We've traced the origins of Halloween back to the Celtic festival of Samhain. We've explored the haunted halls of Leap Castle and heard the sorrowful tale of the Red Lady. We've listened to the countryside's spectral whispers of the Banshee. And we've stood in the shadow of Loftus Hall where the devil himself allegedly paid a visit. These, dear listeners, are but a few of the ghostly tales that Ireland has to offer. Each one adds a chilling layer to the country's rich tapestry of history and folklore. So, the next time you find yourself wandering through Ireland's green hills or ancient castles, remember, you're treading where spirits have walked, and you're listening to echoes of tales that have survived the passage of time. From the eerie to the ethereal, Ireland is a land of endless enchantment. It's a place that whispers of the past, where every stone and every shadow has a story to tell. So listen closely. Who knows what tales you might hear on a dark, moonlit night in Ireland.